In the previous video, I already show you that the unboxing of HP Dual Board Mouse 300. In this video, I am going to show you that this mouse can be repaired, the teardown and the quality of this mouse. So let's go on this video. This is the HP Dual Mode Mouse HP 300. You can see the back side of this uh, HP Dual Mode Mouse. It is in USB dongle condition. Middle one is the off condition and this is a Bluetooth condition. To pair with the Bluetooth, it needs approximately less than two seconds uh, to connect with the previously paired device uh, by using this Bluetooth. I am just going to turn off this mouse and I am using this rubber finger cover for safety purpose of this device. Now I am going to talk about that how to change the mouse DPI. Here you can see the all instruction given. Here you can see that written 1200 uh, DPI, 1600 DPI, 2400 DPI and uh, 3600 DPI. All DPI uh, can be changed by using here you can see the mentioned that two thumbs button so you need to uh, turn on the mouse first of all and after that you need to just press this two button for some time and you can also feel this uh, shifting uh, on your computer very much effectively because uh, when the uh, DPI increase you can see the sensitivity or the movement uh, speed of this mouse become increased this mouse is not for the creator person and because the uh, low dpi of this mouse is uh, 1200 or 1200 you can say that uh, this dpi and the highest dpi is the 3600 so that dpi are you mainly used for the gaming so you can uh, talk say that this is a good gaming mouse wireless mouse or dual connectivity mouse or dual mode mouse for the best for gaming by made by using the HP now I'll talk about this button this is the button that can helps to deattach the previously connected Bluetooth device generate actually new ID it helps to reconnect you this mouse from same device or another device you need to press and hold this button for three seconds let's open it first of all you need to open the battery I'm just going to open this battery this is the battery this are uh, the side button here you can see it is working very fine but the clicking sound of these two are the very much different from the left and right key and it is a six button mouse I'm just going to show you that it is a six button now I'm going to actually talk about that it is possible to repair this mouse or how can I repair this mouse so let's open this mouse it is very carefully you need to open and you should maintain the ESD safe lab. I'm using ESD safe hand strip and the uh, finger cover for maintain the ESD safe for this device that ESD can easily damage your device. As I am an electronics engineer, I am not interested to damage my device for the ESD. Let's open. Oops, here you can see nothing are present on this section. Here you can see this is the actually LED light conductor. It, it helps to travel the LED light from low section from this section to this section. Here you can see this is the LED and also the written that LED. You can see that uh, this life of these two switches are very much long like uh, 1 million keystroke but these two switch can be support the 1 million keystroke i am not sure this is the 16 megahertz crystal 16.000 means it is actually 16 megahertz crystal are connected on this section so it means it is uh, running by using soc system on chip i am just going to open i am not using any metal type uh, anything so let's open it has three clips one here one here and one here i'm just going to show you that it is the six button mouse here you can see this is the scroll wheel and this is the lens and if you see from the back section that this mouse has the two sensor here you can see 
two sensor but i am just going to sure that this does not have two sensor one is for the lighting uh, and another is for the sensor this is not the two sensor if you see back side of this mouse you can see some another section here you can see this is the inductor this is the inductor and this section is the boost converter section it's increase the 1.5 volt battery voltage per voltage for this soc it is actually written the model is n51802 and this is the model number this model number actually indicates that it is a soc or system on chip and it is the latest technology on mouse that uh, this company are used the soc and most of the cases the mouse made by the generic component but here you can see soc or system on chip this is the switch here you can see this is the switch and this is the sensor you can see this is the sensor i am not interested to touch this sensor because it can be easily damaged by my finger so i am not interested this is the uh, red one is the colorful one is the sensor and this is the infrared led ir led so for this infrared led this uh, mouse does not have any type of light you can also see the uh, antenna on the uh, back side that uh, was the gold plated after that now I'll talk about this button this is the button that can helps to deattach the previously connected bluetooth device generate actually new id it helps to reconnect you uh, this mouse from same device or another device you need to press and hold this button for 3 seconds i am just going to assemble this mouse again let's talk about the uh, repairing you cannot repair the back side and it is very impossible to repair because most of the electronics uh, component are not uh, available on the local market you cannot find out the on the local market and you can repair the, those things are this scroll switch this scroll switch this button you can replace this button you can easily find out you can find out from the scrap board this one you can change this one you can change this one this PCB is the multi-layer PCB. It can, has the connection on the front side. It can, has the connection on the back side. And this mouse actually, are you certified? Here you can see this is the written that are you. If you talk about that repairing, you can change the LED. You cannot change this uh, uh, very much component from this section. You can uh, uh, replace this. You can change it or repair this uh, two terminal. Change or repair the LED. You can change or repair the, the switch only, nothing else. It is approx impossible to repair this mouse. List assemble again. This mouse quality is very uh, good and the lifetime of this battery is very good because they are using the SOC and SOC means the system on chip and system on chip is the latest technology on uh, that uh, the mobile processor. The mobile processor means the mobile what are you using in the inside of this mobile the brain of your uh, mobile main processor not processor the company are use the soc so or system on chip let's connect the battery after that connect the okay just fine don't uh, try to open on your uh, home because it is uh, void your warranty actually you need to uh, become a professional on electronics it can be void your warranty so i am not suggesting you to open this on your home uh, you have the warranty if you feel uh, something un abnormal on your mouse try to contact on your service center so that's all if you have any query regarding this video or if you have any uh, queries regarding this mouse you can ask me on the comment section all the uh, also in the telegram uh, community group if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel stay happy stay safe see you next time on science of electronics thank you